Thank you so much for having me on this incredible program. A little bit of chizuk for the yontif that's upcoming. Uh, Rapam has a very uh, beautiful vart that I like to say over that we'll share with you now, uh, which is obviously very relevant and practical for all ages. So I say it to the guys, I say it to myself, I say it to you. And uh, the shot as follows. The last mission in Yuma says, quotes Rav Akiva, some Rav Akiva, Ashrechem Yisroel, Praiseworthy, you are Klal Yisrael. If nay, miatem who do you become tar in front of you? You come in front of you become tar in front of Kosh Baruch Hu. Mitar Eschem, who does it? It's Avicham Shabbat You go in front of Kosh Baruch Hu to Mitar, and he is the one who's Mitar you. Shneimar the pasuk says, pay attention to the pesukim. V'zarak di alechem mayim tahorim. I will pour upon you the waters that are tahar, and you become tahar with tartem. Or mikve Yisrael Hashem. The second pasuk. Kosh Baruch Hu is the is the mikvah. Mikvah Yisrael is a Kosh Baruch Hu. Ma mikvah mitaris tameim. Av Kosh Baruch Hu mitaris Yisrael. Just like the mikvah has the ability to mitahir those who are tamei, so too Kosh Baruch Hu is mitahir Klai Yisrael when they accept when they do tshuva. So Rapam asks, why do you need two psukim? One puzzle good enough. Mikvah Yisrael Hashem or v'zarak di alechem ayim tahorim. What's the pshat? So it says Rapam that there are two types of tshuva. Chuba number one is similar to the mechatas that you throw on, you sprinkle on one, one little drop hits you, you're completely tar. As opposed to mikvah, you got to get completely into the mikvah. If there's one hair, or one part of your body sticking out, then it's not a good tefillah. So he so said, "What's pshat? What does that mean?" So he says we could approach chuba in two different ways. You could say I'm a completely new person, just like we say by mikvah, completely new. This is the first time that, you know, that I'm, a, I'm a new guy. This is a, don't call me by that name anymore. I'm completely different, completely changed. And that's it. Mikvah. Nothing to do with my previous person. I'm completely submerged. Everything is new about me. Or you could do one drop. One drop. I'm going to change one little thing. One little thing. I'll do this better. I'll do this better. This part of, this part of here I'm going to focus on. And says Rapam, as you can see where this is going, that for our generation, which he said this, uh, you know, a while ago, so, Kavachomer, I would say, that the point is that we should internalize, and says Rapam, we should take that type of tshuva, the mechatas. Yes, there is an ideal changing your whole, your whole perspective, your whole body, everything changes, that's the mikvah. But for us, mechatas. Pick one thing. You pick one thing, what are you going to do? We've heard stories about this Rebbe saying, I'm going to bench from a bencher, I'm going to focus on, you know, this, this, um, you know, part of the tefillah, Shema Yisrael, I'll focus on Ashrei, I'll focus on uh, Lashon Hara, whatever it is, but take upon the small steps. Take upon something small. Think about it. Think about it. Dafka during during Vidoy, different times during uh, Shimon Esrei, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, that this is what you're going to change about yourself. And guess what happens? Lo and behold, when you change one thing, you change everything. That's what happens. Slow steps. So a person who says, I'm going to change one thing, who says, Mayim, the Mechatas, I'm going to go with the with the concept of, I'll change one part of me and I'll become Tar, guess what? It becomes Mikvah Yisrael Hashem. The whole part of you changes. Wish you a Ksiv Chasim Taiva. Hope uh, this helps everyone in their process of getting closer to Kaj Baruchu. And again, Zuchus for having me. Thank you so much.